Hey Vision Tech fans, welcome back to the channel. Some big changes might be coming in 2026 for both Samsung and Qualcomm. According to fresh reports, the Snapdragon chip that's expected to power the Galaxy S26 series might actually be manufactured by Samsung itself. That's right, after nearly three years, Qualcomm could be returning to Samsung Foundry to produce its next-gen flagship processor, the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 2. Now, while we're not expecting the Galaxy S26 lineup to launch until early next year, the chip that'll power it could be officially announced as soon as September. What makes this more interesting is that Samsung is rumored to use this new Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 2 chip exclusively in its high-end devices next year. And here's the kicker, it might be built using Samsung's all-new 2 nanometers process. If that happens, it would be a huge moment for Samsung's chip division. Let's not forget that Qualcomm had previously moved away from Samsung's manufacturing due to performance issues. Remember when Samsung produced the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1? That chip had overheating and throttling problems, which led Qualcomm to switch over to TSMC for better results using their 4 nanometers and 3 nanometers processes. But now, according to a report by Kaylee, Qualcomm might be planning two versions of the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 2 one built by TSMC with their upgraded 3 nanometers process, and the other by Samsung using their brand new 2 nanometers technology. This could signal a brand new phase in the Qualcomm-Samsung partnership. Apparently, Samsung and Qualcomm are already working together to finalize the production plans. Samsung is expected to wrap up production testing by Q2 of this year, with full-scale production starting in the first quarter of 2026. The version made by Samsung is likely going to be the Made for Galaxy edition, set to power the Galaxy S26 and maybe even more premium Samsung devices launching in 2026. Production is expected to take place at Samsung Foundry's advanced Wasong S3 factory. Around 1,000 sheets of 12 inch wafers are planned for this chip. Even though Samsung's 2 nanometers production capacity currently stands at around 7,000 wafers per month, Qualcomm's initial order is pretty small. But this deal is more about proving capability than just numbers. The real question now is about chip yield. How many of those chips can meet Qualcomm's high-quality standards? That's still up in the air. But if Samsung can pull it off and deliver high-performing Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 2 chips, it would seriously boost their credibility in the semiconductor world. Even if Qualcomm's order doesn't bring in a ton of revenue, Nailing this project would be a big reputation win for Samsung Foundry. And if all goes well, this could lead to even more chip contracts, not just from Qualcomm, but from other major tech companies too. There were earlier rumors that Samsung might get involved in producing some Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 or Elite chips, but those never materialized. This time, if they do manage to land the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 2, it could be a game changer. It would mean that Samsung has finally overcome the technical hurdles that held back its chip-making efforts in the past. There's another interesting part to this story. Samsung Foundry is also said to be manufacturing Qualcomm's Snapdragon XR2 Plus Gen 2 chip using its 4 nanometers node. That chip is expected to power Samsung's upcoming XR headset, which might hit the market before the year ends. All of this suggests that Samsung and Qualcomm are forming a much closer and more strategic partnership than we've seen in a long time. It's not just about regaining Qualcomm's trust, it's about Samsung stepping up as a serious player in the global chipmaking race, especially in the competitive 2 nanometers space. TSMC might still be the go-to name for many tech giants, but if Samsung proves its capability with the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 2, the entire game could change. So, will the Galaxy S26 really ship with a Snapdragon chip built by Samsung? Right now, all signs are pointing to a very real possibility. And if everything goes according to plan, this could be Samsung's big comeback in the foundry space, not just as a smartphone leader, but as a top-tier chip manufacturer ready to challenge the best in the business. If you enjoyed this update, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more tech updates. Also, make sure to click the bell icon so you never miss an update. We'll catch you in the next video. Peace out.